Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjit and you are watching Doctor Education. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, I make videos about health and healthcare topics and all my videos are directly referenced from internationally accepted US National Medical Library and therefore you can trust the information. And today, I am going to talk about erectile dysfunction, erection problems. So, uh, those who don't know what erection problem is, erection problems occurs when a man uh, cannot get or keep an erection that is firm enough for intercourse. So uh, you may not be able to get an erection at all or you may lose the erection during the intercourse before you are actually ready. So erection problem usually do not affect your sex drive. right? So you might want to do it but you are not able to. And these problems are very common almost all adult men have trouble uh, getting or keeping an erection at one time or another almost all so you're not alone often uh, the problem goes away with a little or no treatment but some men but for some men it can get it but for some men it can be an ongoing problem and this is called erectile dysfunction so if you have trouble getting or keeping an erection for more than 25% of the time, you should see a doctor. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. So what causes erectile dysfunction and why some of us have this problem more often than another see to get an erection your brain your nerves your hormones and blood vessels right all need to work together if something gets in the way of the normal function it can lead to erectile problems so an erection problem is usually not all in the head right in fact most erectile problems have some physical cause let's see what all things can actually cause erectile problems the first thing is diabetes yes diabetes high blood pressure thyroid or even heart disease clogged arteries right going through causing atherosclerosis depression is a big cause nervous system disorders like Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, all these diseases are major causes. But not everyone has these diseases. So sometimes medications can also cause these problems. Some medicines like antidepressants, blood pressure medications, especially beta blockers or even heart medicines like digoxin, sleeping pills. Sometimes peptic ulcer medicines also can lead to this problem, right? So always talk to your doctor if you really need those medicines, right? Other causes include uh, low testosterone levels, which can make it difficult to even get an erection. In this case only, you might have a low sex drive as well, right? Then if you have had a prostate surgery, so nerve damage because of that surgery can lead to this problem. Alcohol, uh, smoking, nicotine, tobacco, cocaine, drugs, abuse can lead to this problem. Spinal cord injury can lead to this problem. And in some cases, your emotions or relationship problem can lead to erectile dysfunction. Like if you have poor communication with your partner, if you are, have feeling of doubt, of failure, stress, anxiety, fear, anger, right, or expecting too much from sex, uh, which can make sex a task instead of a pleasure, right. So erectile dysfunction can affect men at any age, but it's more common as you get older. The physical causes are more common in older men and emotional causes are more common in young men, right? So, if you have an erection in the morning or at night while you sleep, 
it is likely that it's not a physical cause right understand most men have 3 to 5 erections at night that lasts uh, about 30 minutes 3 to 5 erections at night that last around 30 minutes so talk to your doctor about how to find out if you have normal nighttime erections or not so what are the symptoms of uh, erectile dysfunction first is trouble getting an erection trouble keeping an erection having an erection which is not firm enough for intercourse and less interest in sex right how uh, how can you diagnose the cause obviously you'll have to go through examination you have to check your blood pressure the penis and the rectum needs to be examined right and your doctor will ask you a lot of questions such as have you been able to get and keep an erection in the past have you have any trouble getting an erection or keeping an erection do you have an erection during sleep or in the morning how long have you had trouble with the erection all these things will be asked then even lifestyle questions like if you are taking any medicine any over the counter medicine any supplements do you drink smoke or use drugs like do you have any you know your state of mind will be assessed any depression stress anxiety if you have any relationship problem right any anger fights right distress then many tests can be done like urine test blood test to check for diabetes heart problem low testosterone devices there are devices which you can wear at night to check for normal nighttime erections right ultrasound of the penis can be done to check for blood flow problems then rigidity monitoring to test how strong is your erection is also available psychological tests to check for depression and other emotional problems right these all things can be assessed to actually pinpoint the reason of your ed erectile dysfunction and of course the treatment depends upon what is causing the problem and how healthy are you right so talk to a doctor a gynecologist who specializes in the situation then lifestyle changes can actually help get exercise regular exercise eat a healthy diet losing extra weight and sleeping well these things actually help if you and your partner have troubles talking about your relationship it is possible that that is the problem with sex counseling can help you and your partner both to get through the situation lifestyle changes are known may not be enough so you might need medicines you might need treatment and many treatment options are available like pills pills which you can take through the mouth such as sildenafil viagra right there are many other vardenafil levitra then tardenafil cialis right these pills work only when you are sexually aroused and they usually start to work after 15 to 45 minutes so medicines are also available to be inserted into the urethra or injected into the penis to improve the blood flow and very small needles are used to do so so that it does not pain surgery or implants are available to place implants in the penis right these implants may be inflatable or semi rigid right to help you a vacuum device can be used and this basically is used to pull blood into the penis a special rubber band is then used to keep the erection during intercourse right the rubber band is basically put near the root of the penis testosterone can be checked if you have low testosterone then testosterone replacement can be given this can be given through a skin patch or by injections remember tablets are not the best way to give testosterone their absorption is very bad then erectile dysfunction pills if you are using them like viagra levitra cialis they can have side effects these side effects can range from simple muscular pains or flushing to actual heart attacks 
therefore do not use these medications if you have any heart history blood pressure problem right don't use them with nitroglycerin these combination can actually drop your blood pressure too low right and you may not be able to use these drugs if you have uh, any other conditions like stroke right if you have heart attack as i already said if you have severe heart problem you have angina irregular heart beat you have severe heart failure uncontrolled high blood pressure uncontrolled diabetes very low blood pressure all these things uh, if you have any of these things don't use these uh, vigras or other kind of pills treatments other treatments are available other treatments can also have side effects you need to talk to your doctor for them right you may also see that many herbs or supplement that claim to help sexual performance or desire however none have been proven to successfully treat ed in clinical trials plus they may not always be safe so do not take anything without talking to your doctor first remember herbs natural supplements and even uh, ayurvedic supplements may have allopathic contamination and adulteration so you may be risking your health by doing so because pure ingredients in these supplements are tested in clinical trials and most trials show no results so you can think and use your own common sense that if you are getting result from a supplement then that supplement can be adulterated an actual medicine can have may have been added into the supplement if you are taking them for a long time you might have side effects so many men actually overcome this erectile problem with simple lifestyle changes or treatment or sometimes both for some severe cases you and your partner may have to adjust how ed affects your sex life even with treatment counseling can help you and your partner overcome the uh, problem and uh, straighten out whatever problems you have in your relationship right normally erectile dysfunctions uh, don't have major complications but can you do something to prevent this problem yes first thing quit smoking cut back on alcohol not more than one or two drinks per day as i've always advised do not use illegal drugs drink plenty of water get plenty of sleep take time to relax stay at a healthy weight for your height increase exercise eat a healthy diet to keep good blood circulation if you have diabetes if you have blood pressure keep them well controlled and talk openly with your doctor with your partner about your relationship in sex life seek counseling if you need them if you have troubles communicating or relationship problems all these things can actually help prevent in potence sexual dysfunction erectile dysfunction all these things can be prevented if you are just taking care of all these points so that's all about erectile dysfunctions hope you the hope you hope this video would be helpful to you if it is then don't forget to like and subscribe the video and let me know how you feel about this video in the comment section and share this video as much as you can i am dr paramjit I am a consultant physician and cardiologist in the Ashoka Super Speciality Hospital, Nehru Nagar, Delhi, NCR, and this is my channel. Stay connected, stay healthy.